What's going on, guys? This is Tales 86 here, and I have a very special guest with me. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm the Mega Retro Geek. Yeah, pleasure to meet you guys. Okay, so guys, we are here to talk about a um a little problem, and that problem is about the new Mega Man that's being released on iOS now. First off, Tim, what do you really think about this? From the trailer I showed you earlier before we started recording this, what was your first impression from the very beginning of the trailer to the very end? A lot of people are going to be extremely angry. Is the first thing yes. Um, honestly, it was the biggest slap in our faces in quite some time after Ken Inifuni, uh, Inifuni, sorry, uh left Capcom for his own ambitions. Um, Capcom has really treated their loyal mascot to, uh, what's the best word I can look for? I guess complete garbage um, would be the best answer. And here <coughs> is an anniversary of Mega Man, along with many other video game characters, and they completely just wiped them out. Uh, wow. Uh, and it's... It it's it's a really it, it exactly exactly how you stated it is a huge slap in the face to uh the gamers that started off with Mega Man back on the very first Mega Man on the NES and then leading up to the amazing upon epically amazing Mega Man X and then to the other entries in the series like the Mega Man Network games even though i mean there are some people that were kind of meh about those games but i mean they were still great Mega Man games but to go ahead and do such a thing to Mega Man like they did, put him in like I don't even know what kind of it, it looks like he's wearing like a fur coat or something. I don't I don't understand the logic of uh, that, and I don't un, I don't also understand where Storm Eagle comes in this, because from what I was thinking, this was supposed to be uh, the ending, like the big ending between X and Zero having like a really huge colliding like rivalry battle and everything like a huge thing and here we end up with a really crappy iOS game that looks like it's going to be as horrible to control as uh a lot of the Sonic games that you see on like iPads and stuff now I mean I mean I'm we're not hating totally on the franchise it's just we're hating on Capcom's decision on doing this to Mega Man, not only just because it's Mega Man, but I mean, it's his 25th anniversary. I mean, it's just, you don't do that to a 25th anniversary. I mean, God, you didn't see Sega do that to Sonic with Sonic Generations. No, they went all out with it. I mean, like, the same way with Mario. I mean, I know that they were uh, kind of, excuse my language, they were a little half-assed with the uh, Mario All-Stars collection. But, I mean, they still did something. I mean, the same thing with Kirby. I mean, we just had Kirby's uh, Dream Collection come out, and he's been out for 20 years, and they even let that go out with a bang. But, I mean, I just I don't understand it. I really don't understand their their logic. But, I mean, it, it, it's it, exactly as you said, though, Tim. It's going gonna, it's gonna to really tick a lot of people off that are huge Mega Man fans to see that Capcom actually stooped this low to... Uh, to take their amazing character that they originally had and then do this to them. Pretty much. Uh, as an old Mega Man fan myself, yeah, it, it, it was, it's been really heartbreaking the past few years between after Mega Man Halo 3 was canceled, then Mega Man uh, Universe was canceled, and then uh, recently we had the news that uh, that Korean MMORPG based on Mega Man was canceled, and then this magically appears, and we're thinking, what's this going to do? Something tells me this iOS game is probably only going to release in Japan, because I don't think anybody wants it now. Um, it, it's it's really a shame, because, you know, uh, Kenji didn't have any hard feelings about it, but Capcom has been a real jerk about it. And we knew about this, like when the Street Fighter Cross Tekken came out, we saw the way Mega Man was designed. That You could tell that Capcom was pretty butthurt about it, and uh, people were like, oh, cool, and I, and I forgot this. And they said they, they fell on the usage of Mega Man no matter what. And it just really breaks my heart that Kenji never did anything to do. But Kenji's doing pretty good for himself now, according to the uh, recent Tokyo Game Show here. Exactly, exactly. And the thing is, is though, I just wish that there was a way for, for Inafune to literally go back to Capcom and tell them, hey, 
this was the game that I created. Give me back my my work. Because, I mean, they're not going to do anything with Mega Man. They're not going to do anything else with him. I mean, they're more concerned about making another rehash of Street Fighter. They're more concerned about milking the series uh, Monster Hunter more than anything. And, I mean, I'm sorry for all you old Monster Hunter fans out there. But, I mean, it's it's true. I mean, it's really true. Eventually, they're going to do that to Monster Hunter. I mean, they're already doing it to Lost Planet, which I think, in my personal opinion, is one of the worst games that Capcom has ever done. And, I mean, it's just like the same thing with uh, just like – like a lot of companies have been doing that. I mean, like we have just recently Square Enix uh, decided to come out with a, a Kingdom Hearts HD collection in uh, Japan – on the Sony PS3, you're supposed to get uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memories on one disc. And I know that the PS3 could handle way more than that. I mean, we both know that. I mean, it could handle the whole entire collection, if anything, on probably two Blu-ray discs. If not even just on one. Uh, pardon me for a minute, but yeah, you actually do bring up a good point. Notice that Square Enix is still pretty much dodging the, the Kingdom Hearts 3 game that you guys have been how long now? Uh, ten years, or not ten years, but we're still. I mean, we've been waiting for a good amount of time. I mean, because Kingdom Hearts two, I believe it was coming out around. If my memory serves me correct, I think it was about two thousand three, two thousand four, somewhere around that number. And then we had nothing but a bunch of rehashes, and then we had the actual series just going straight downhill. And then they finally decided to go ahead and pick up back where they left off on the 3DS version on the 3DS. But, I mean, it's just, I've just been finding a lot of companies doing that. I mean, both Capcom and Square Enix are doing that, and I'm thankful that Nintendo hasn't resorted to doing that, but, I mean, you never know. But, I mean, I'm really hoping, I'm really, really and truly hoping that Nintendo would never resort to doing anything like that. But then again, they're more for the gamers on actual game consoles. They don't do anything like iOS-based stuff. Well, this is another thing, see iOS people are actually just everybody's scared of iOS. That's why everybody's trying to go to this market because they're in such fear that you know that that these portable mobile devices are taking over and they are selling hotcakes. We cannot deny this, but everything we are doing, every single console, like even the upcoming systems in the future, are all leaning towards the same feature. Like, why in the world does like the, the Wii U decide to give us like a touchpad? Uh, because they're scared. They, they just don't want to admit it. Apple, to me, I don't know, and Microsoft's just, lean, you know, lean, so Microsoft and Sony are just trying to lay back. They're like, eh, we're okay, because they're, they're, they're already knee-deep in the money, but I don't know, it's just, in, in the end, it's like everything, every console tries to be a computer, and they try to do that, and it's, it's okay, but when it comes to handheld, it just feels like people are demanding too much for it. And, and I agree that. I agree very much with that, but I mean, guys, this, I mean, we want to hear y'all's, we want to hear y'all's comments on what, what you think going on right now is going on in the video game market. I mean, do you really think that Capcom and Square Enix should really just go iOS based, or do you think that they should go ahead and go back to more of the handheld slash console uh, fan base? Because I mean, we, we want to hear your comments, and I mean, we, we're just, we're just humble gamers that's we just care about the game. We don't. I mean, we're not really hating too much on the iOS uh, owners. It's not that. It's just. I mean, for for companies that have been out for as long as Square Enix and Capcom have, and for what support they used to have amazingly for their fans back in the day, Woody would have at least expected something like that for at least the end of the year for some of their most amazing franchises like Mega Man, Street Fighter. All those things. But, I mean, guys, hit us up in the comments if you like. And also, Tim, thank you very much again for joining me on this little uh, uh, roundtable, basically, talking about the uh, Mega Man issue. And thanks again for coming. No problem. It was always a pleasure. And, guys, until then, uh, make sure to also subscribe to uh, both me, Tales of the Six Week Reviews, and to the Mega Retro Geek. And until then, guys, take care. Later.